how to connect a printer to a mac in this video i am going to show you two printers one is a brother printer the other one is a samsung printer and this is my macbook air m1 i'm going to show you how to connect both of them you might think that once one is connected and set up the other one might automatically do that or if you just plug in the usb i'll also show you what it does is it it basically does nothing you have to install the drivers manually and then take charge so let me show you how that works so i am going to connect the brother printer which is on the left side to this macbook and now that it's connected i'll go to settings before that i should tell you that i am running mac os uh, 26 tahoe that's the beta version the first beta version how did i install it i am i have already made a video on that you can go and check that out as well the link to that will be in the description but for now we'll go to settings then if I go to uh, printers and scanners like we generally do with computers and add printer, you can see that brother HLL2320D is a printer that is already detected. You can see uh, it is on my MacBook, the name is correct. And if I choose a driver, there is no driver. And there is not even an auto select option. If I choose software, you can see all the software that are already on this computer and none of these are compatible with this driver so we have to manually go and download and install this driver so let's go and do that we'll go to the browser and in the browser i've already pulled up the brother website i have just typed in brother hl2320d driver for mac and it has come up so here you can see the first is select os family which is mac now i'm going to select mac os 15.x because 26 is currently unavailable which is fine so i'm just going to select it click on ok and here you can see we have printer driver we are going to select it and on the bottom we have agree to eula and download so user agreement and user license agreement that is eula and we are going to select download and save so it's going to download for us and it downloaded quite pretty quickly and let's install it and it's given me a wizard for installing it we are going to start it now if you're not an admin password or not either way you'll have to put in a password let's do that and click install software the software has been downloaded and now it says uh, welcome to the brother software installer we are going to hit continue agree to the license and agreement and here you can see install for all users on this computer i agree with that install and again we have to put in a password install software and now it's actually and now it's going to install it for us and give us a summary and here you can see installation was successful so that is great let's hit close we are going to keep it for a while so now i've come to settings again under printers and scanners we want to go add printer and scanner or fax select this printer it has automatically detected the printer's driver and we are going to let the computer select it hit add and then you see our printer is now connected. So should we test it out? Let's test it out. To print it, we can also press command plus P and then hit print. Let's see, the printer's doing something and it's working. And there you go guys, it works. As you can see, let's try doing it for another uh, printer. So this is the Samsung M2021 Express series. Let's try it out as well. So I have also pulled out the Samsung Express L SL M2021 drivers by just searching for it. You can get it anywhere and just hit download, save. And we are going to basically follow the same process. Open it up. This is our download wizard. So we have opened up the driver file and then we want to go to Mac printer over here. And then we want to go to printerdriver.pkg and click on continue and install. Hit install and it's going to do the same thing that it did with our brother printer. It's taking a bit of time but it's fine. It says time remaining is less than a minute and there you go. So, so in this we can also add the printer directly so I'm going to add that. So let's go ahead and add our printer let's select it so it's basically doing the same process we can also go ahead and do this in settings and then printer scanner section 
it may also be that this driver is very slow to install but in system settings if you go you can see that we have actually added the m2021 printer so that works as well but but you can also wait till this is finished i am not going to wait till it's finished or i'm just going to minimize it and let's see the install is done and i can see that uh, the samsung printer has also been added so this is basically how you can install uh, multiple printers or just single printer on mac hopefully this video has been helpful to you if it has been do consider subscribing liking and sharing uh, the video we do really put in a lot of effort with these videos hopefully so really do consider subscribing see you in the next video